welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and these are my masterpieces. This week we made a lovely mirror. It's hanging up right there behind me. I love how this turned out. I'm actually going to put it in my bedroom on one of my walls. And this video is also part of a series of me making over my entire <laughs> master bedroom. Yeah, it's going to look so nice when it's done. And I would love to have you guys join my channel. Click subscribe and click the little bell notification so you get all of my video updates. I upload every Friday. And let's get into the video, right? Say yeah. Let's go. Okay, bye. We are just about ready to head out. We're gonna go try to find some things to DIY a mirror. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, if I can't find the supplies that I need today, I'm going to have to order them online, which in that case, I'm going to try to find some little decor items for my master bedroom because that reveal is coming up really soon. So we're going to see what we can find. Hopefully I can find the things that I want to get for this DIY, but we're going on a trip later this week. So I don't know, um, if, if I can't find it, I'm going to have to postpone it because I don't have as much time to work on a video this week. Is that right? Yeah. So let's go to the thrift store and Michael's and a few other places. Hey, this might come out as total madness, but just wait. I really need to tell you something. originally gonna cut a mirror, but I found this, and this is a diameter of 14 inches, and this is 15 or 16 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nestle this in here because I couldn't find a mirror cutter. Yay! I think I wasn't recording, but overall I found everything that I wanted. They did not have a circle glass cutter that I was looking for, so I did find, however some beveled mirrors that were almost the, the size that I wanted to fit inside my base for the mirror and I figured out how I'm gonna hang it and everything and I'm really excited I think it's gonna turn out super cute and it's gonna be perfect for my wall in my bedroom and it's gonna turn out to be I think it's gonna be less than $30 to make this mirror because I don't I don't need anything else and it was right at just about $30 but I'm not gonna use all the materials so we'll see it might be a little bit less but really excited. I'm over here feeding Bethany a little bottle just because she was hungry. I'm hungry too. There's a Chick-fil-A right over there and I might head over there and grab something because <laughs> I'm so hungry. For this DIY you'll need a cake pan that is 16 inches by 2 inches, a mirror that is 14 inches, some spray paint in your color of your choice, a strap of leather, some glue sticks and a glue gun, as well as some E6000 and scissors. I'm trying to see if it's gonna be raining. I hope it doesn't rain while I attempt to spray paint my um, pan, because that would be horrible. I'm being smart this time and I'm wearing a glove because in my video previous to this one, I kind of froze part of my skin and now it's all calloused, so I'm being smart, so I don't get any blisters this time. I'm hoping that it's not gonna rain, because it looks like it might rain, but we're gonna do this really fast. I got my spray paint in my pan. We're gonna spray about, I don't know, like two inches in, just to make sure that where the mirror is not, it's all covered with spray paint. And we're gonna paint the lip right here and the inner lip probably do about two coats, thin coats, and see how that does. Let them dry in between.
ankles this morning, as you saw in the earlier clip, and I found some leather. I want to use this as a strap in order to hang my mirror, but it's just a little bit too short. If you can see, this is not going to be nearly enough to wrap around the um, circumference of my mirror once it's put together. So what I'm going to opt to do is to cut it down lengthways. I got this for, originally it was $10.99 and I got it for $8.79. So I got this for a really great price. I didn't want to have to buy two. So I'm going to just cut it down the middle. Also, I forgot to mention that this was originally 42 inches long in total and 1.5 inches wide. So by the time I cut it in half, it's going to be 0.75 inches. So three quarters of an inch wide. Here we are on my Pinterest. Let's go to my board here. And I have an entire board dedicated to things to do with my master makeover. So I have some several different ideas that I had for mirrors. And as you can see, I took inspiration from all of them and made my own design for my mirror. This was my main inspiration piece. It's by West Elm. It was $239.20, which is a ridiculous amount of money for a mirror. I love it, and I probably would buy it, but I wanted to be able to make something on my own that would fit my budget right now. So I did this one for the inspiration piece for the leather going all the way around. And I really liked this one as well. From uh, This was actually a DIY off of a Restoration Hardware mirror. I really liked the rim around this one, which is what I went for the main base of my mirror. And then I really liked this with the copper around the rim. And this one I really liked the leaf effect around the mirror by adding some faux um, greenery. So as you can see, you can combine your ideas and come up with your own design. And that's what I did. One thing I wanted to point out real fast is that I did not glue all the way around the sides of the pan. I went about halfway up the sides, which is why I measured and then placed a clip to know up to what point I should add glue. While I was making this mirror, I thought a lot about how at a younger age, there was a time where I could not look at myself in the mirror because I believed that I was not beautiful that I didn't measure up to today's standards of, of beauty and image. And I just want you to know that if you have struggled with something like that or are struggling with that right now, know that you are beautiful and that you are valuable because you were made in the image of God. Our support system for this mirror which is actually the leather strips and they are currently drying I used a combination of hot glue with e6000 because e6000 is a really strong glue but it takes a while to cure and hot glue is an almost instantaneous it cools off and it bonds really well but it doesn't hold for a long period of time, particularly on things that are smooth. So using a combination of both will give me the ability to quickly wrap it as I did and um, hold it in place until the E6000 glue dries completely. And then once we hang it on our wall, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna fall, because that would be horrifying, having a mirror fall off your wall and crash into little bitty pieces. This. This cake pan that I got at Michael's is 16 inches wide across. So the diameter is 16 inches from here to here, 16 inches. And I was actually looking for a mirror glass cutter with a, like with a compass and they didn't have any at Michael's, but I happened to find this mirror, which is 14 in diameter. 
14 inches in diameter. So it nestles quite nicely in here. I tried to find one of an exact fit, but they didn't have a cake pan in a smaller size that would fit this. They had like an X size down and it was a little bit too small. And this was the only mirror size that they had, you know, in the bigger sizes. But I think it'll look nicely. I think it fits really well. You could do two different things with this. You could glue it down at the bottom so that you have more of this rose uh, coppery color showing, or you can glue it in the middle. I'm going to go with the middle. I like it how it looks a little bit better. We're going to use also a combination of E6000 and hot glue to glue this down. Everything is all right with you. If I were to do this part again, I would use larger blobs of glue than smaller ones and do it much faster than this ended up being because it ended up ungluing and I had to tear off some of the glue and restart. So just an FYI, if you guys decide to do this yourself, you do need quite a bit of blobs of glue in order to hold this whole thing in place. I ended up making an overhand knot in order to hang this mirror from a nail and then I tucked the edges of it behind into the little loop until it looked neat. But you could also cut them off if you wanted to. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's completely customizable. You can make any color of frame that you want for your mirror. You could do black with a lighter color leather. You could do not animal leather. I just happened to find some genuine leather and that's what I happened to use. You can completely do it however you want. You can position the um, mirror in a different spot if you'd like and it'll turn out really nice. Yep. We'll see you guys next week, and thank you for watching. Bye. Let's see how that one turned out. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three.